Hi everybody, this is Tithi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Where we will have a look at your blessings, your challenges, the person coming towards you and your career situation for the month of July. Show me what I need to see for Taurus. Taurus, you're losing hope in something these days, but Spirit is saying you need to trust the process. You never know when something is going to work out for you, okay? So don't lose faith, don't lose hope. Um, there's this energy of you, yes, look at that openness. So you need to be open to the changes that are coming in for you. You know, that is the moon energy. Here we see a full moon and a new moon. So there's something here about a new beginning. But a new beginning that you're manifesting when you also let go of the old, okay? With the, I swear, almost all signs have gotten this card. I have seen this card for all signs. So it's like, you know, of course, this is summer season is here and there's this energy of moving forward. I feel like a lot of people as a collective are moving forward from something, okay? And, you know, I do like this energy for you, you know, of moving forward of manifesting what you desire but it's it's like you are not very hopeful so that is where you need to pay attention because you need to have a look at what is keeping you stuck okay we have this change wisdom so a lot of you have gained wisdom and um that sense of knowing what is good for you what is not good for you uh past few years two to three years have been very life-changing for you so you may also need to dive deep into your intuition you may have pisces cancer scorpio placements in your chart i would suggest you watch um, any water sign reading and you will get a message in there um, especially if you have like i said pisces cancer scorpio in your chart i would suggest you watch pisces first or cancer reading okay but there's something here about diving deep into your intuition. Um, okay, there's a change that is just around the corner for you, but you gotta be open to it. A lot of your reading here has to do with your sense of openness and trusting the process because this, you know, some of you could also be into crystals, okay? So there's something here that about energies working for you when you least expect for them to, okay? Because this card signals wonders, okay? And that is something we don't expect. It just happens, you know? Sometimes we cannot really find an explanation to the wondrous things that happen in our life, but it's very much possible, okay? Um, this is also telling you to enjoy yourself, have a good time, um, maybe go out. Um, if you go out, you may meet somebody because you have the card of love here. But like I said, a lot of what you're wanting to manifest has to do with your sense of being open to something. I'm going to read for you the card of openness. When you receive this card, be open to receiving signs, be still, do nothing and be open. Breathe, relax completely and thoroughly, incubate your dreams for the future. If you're trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for signs and listen to the whispers of the universe. Watch your dreams for messages regarding the situation. Become the sacred watcher, observe life as it unfolds rather than becoming engaged in it be open to what the universe has in store for you and be receptive to the messages from your soul this card can be the card of sacred wonders that are coming into your life and miracles can show up in the ways you didn't expect so this has a lot to do with changes that you don't see coming or stuff that you don't expect is going to happen like i said And honestly, I don't see any negative cards here. In fact, I see very beautiful energy. It's like, you know, when you surrender 
there's a lot more that you get because you're not attached to a particular outcome and that is the energy that i'm picking up on here for you okay so you may want to wear the color blue and white this month or green blue white pink blue white and green okay but mainly blue and white and if you have a crystal keep that close i would suggest uh, a quartz or like maybe a rose quartz as well that's also going to help you so let's see let's see what tarot messages will show up for you taurus There's love showing up for you but you may be hesitating to open up to this person there's something there's somebody here you have deleted or blocked and that person could show up in your life with the knight of cups and the four of swords it's like you see how that woman is offering a flower to that man but he's sleeping you may have uh, disconnected from somebody recently and i see them showing up for you you have the lovers as your overall energy with the tower so there's this energy of suddenness okay we have the chariot ace of wands ace of so it's very much a month of new beginnings there's a lot of determination i told you cancer is showing up a lot here so you may want to watch cancer reading and pisces reading um new beginnings new start i also see you focusing more on things that you're passionate about things that just connect to your soul and i see you connecting with a person as well who you're gonna find very attractive <laughs> okay but it's like you know you're the kind of a person i feel like because your relationships have taught you a big lesson you can tell who's coming towards you with what intention you know so it doesn't take you a long time to recognize who's coming in with what intention and what do they want from you because this is something here that you've experienced many times in your life that you know people come and go i don't think here that you're very attached to a particular outcome in your life you know you're not very attached to a particular outcome sometimes it's almost like it is what it is kind of an approach that you have okay but yeah what i'm really getting is that with the lovers and the tower there may be a sudden um energy here of love somebody could suddenly show up in your life somebody you don't expect okay Give me one more card on this. Yes, Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Chariot. You're also going to see success in your money situation. Just remember the Chariot card from this reading if you want to. And chariot is about determination to move forward. It also signals um, prosperity. It signals wealth. Um, okay. It signals uh, success, victory. Okay. So there's a lot of good stuff here for you. I'm going to briefly read for you some, some of what this card represents. It represents unstoppable movement. This is an energy that means on the go. It is swift and ready and like a warrior on a mission okay the chariot signals a time of moving and doing an opportunity and a need to go for goals with full you know that passionate energy while the lovers represents a heart bound with human affection the chariot is the heart that quest for personal glory or for further spiritual wisdom and entertainment in the most literal sense the chariot is a vehicle okay 
that means uh, which a person can get to where they're going. This, this may also be an actual car or metaphorically it is a symbol of medium through which one has chosen to attain success. So it's, it's, some of you could be thinking about changing your car, getting a new car. The chariot also represents forward movement and sometimes travel. So does the eight of wands. So for some of you, I'm also seeing traveling. But for a lot of you, this is also a message for you, for you to not be tied down to something anymore. Because it's like you're being taken forward to the next step. And like I said, chariot is like wanting to move forward for the sake of one's personal growth so this is more so you than anything else in your life and you're getting double chariot which means that those energies are being amplified in your life right now okay um for you uh taurus if you're a taurus sun or a taurus rising uh, especially if you're a taurus rising uh, cancer is your third house and that is the house of communication that is the house of learning, um, expansion, also friends sometimes. So this is about learning, moving forward, communicating. Some of you could be working online and I see that succeeding for you. So like I said, um, Taurus, this is, this is like an unstoppable energy. You know, this is not a time for you to sit and ponder upon something. This is a time of taking action. Um, and very much, you know, new beginnings. You're surrounded by new beginnings, left, right, and center. Tell me the challenge and advice for Taurus. What is the challenge and advice for Taurus, please? What is the challenge and advice for Taurus? Your challenge here is you opening yourself up to somebody who you feel like doesn't deserve you. So there is something here in the past, you, you feel like you compensated, overcompensated for something in the past. And it's telling you to not do that. Your challenge here, Taurus, also has something to do with personal boundaries. Um, and with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands is suggesting your personal strength and your personal power. Queen of Wands is somebody who takes pride in who they are. Um, she's passionate, she knows what she deserves, and she's also intuitive and beautiful and very attractive, like I said. So this is telling you to know who you are, where you stand, and don't accept any less than what you think you deserve, especially because recently you decided to end something with a person because they were seeming non-serious. So this has something to do with who you're opening up to emotionally, okay? Show me what I need to see for Taurus for the month of July. We have a distant friend is thinking of you. There's someone here who's thinking about you and this this friend could live at a distance. Uh, for, oh, there is somebody here you may have cut off. Okay, a friend or a lover you cut off and you cut them off because they were being toxic. And I feel like there's somebody you cut off or you're putting them at a distance. That person is thinking of you. needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted that is nice and we have december december could be a significant month for you this year or maybe last year it was significant and there's something here about what do i say there's something here about like what you're manifesting from now up until the end of the year there's this energy of a wish fulfillment okay so that's about it taurus those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link in the description box if you are interested to know who's coming towards you in love their thoughts and feelings for you future actions intentions what are your blessings and your challenges and your career situation. So do have a look if you're interested and I will see you guys next time. Bye.